Hello Vikings, uh, another tips and tricks uh, video tutorial. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at uh, a couple of different topics today. Uh, I just popped shield, so uh, I now need to secure all of my resources and my people from being attacked. And if we ever see a little red circle down here that says I'm being attacked, uh, that ought to be an interesting uh, uh, event in this particular uh, video. But uh, as of right now, I'm not being attacked. I just dropped my shield. Uh, I have no shield at all. Uh, you can see I have quite a bit of resources uh, at this point in time. Uh, as you can see, I'm a, a level 19 as well. Uh, and we're going to have to figure out how I'm going to deal with this particular situation. So uh, I have a few options. And let's go through what those various options are. First of all, my resources. I need to get these resources out of my village as fast as I can. So I'm going to use one of uh, many different sources for that. Uh, and I'm gonna go find uh, a, a person in my clan to get, <laughs> to get rid of these resources as fast as I can. So I do know that I have a couple of people nearby me as well as I have a bank. And I'm going to drop all of my resources with a couple of different people. So let's take a take a quick uh, Trubo. Trubo is about to get all of my resources. Uh, unfortunately, I also know that I build more resources than my vault can hold in a given period of time. So let's see if I can get rid of as much of my resources as I can. I can get only get rid of 1,000 or 1 million food at a time. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of work here. Food is not so important to me. I can I can live without it. As you can see, I'm already I'm already burning food. Actually, let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, I I have a another friend close by that I know has a three week shield. So let's let's take a quick look at Odysseus. See how much he can hold. I'm going to get rid of all of my lumber to Odysseus. It's going to cost me 13%. But I'm down to just a little bit. I'm getting ready for going to bed tonight, so I've got four marches. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. And he's close. He's super, super close. So I don't. We don't have to wait for him to to come back. I'm going to have my troops back in nothing flat. So. Get rid of all that silver because silver isn't in the vault. You can see how fast I'm already building it back, unfortunately. The vaults are currently at 500k. just depleted my food completely which means I can't do any building or any other type of knowledge so I'm pretty hosed at this point. I'm gonna have to get some of that back. Uh, so let's just keep sending as much as we can. Okay so as much as I, I've sent my resources. Now my resources are out of town. I don't have a red circle yet so I'm not being attacked. Oh crud. I also need uh, Need to deal with this task that hasn't been done yet. Oh, well, let's double check my hero, as we've talked about in some previous. I want to make sure that I get all the the points I can for this. So let's let's turn ourselves into hero experience mode. Get as many hero experiences as we possibly can off of this claim. Do that really quick. Well, hopefully, really quick. I know what equipment produces the best hero's experience. If you get a task, you want your hero's experience. You want to get the best possible hero experience out of that task while you're getting a chance of it. Okay, so I'm all hero's experience now. We're going to take advantage of that and we're going to claim that epic task. 
And we're going to start this uh, unusual task. There we go. All right, so a little sidetrack there. But uh, let's let's take a quick look at now I've got troops in town. I've got quite a few actually um, building on that right now. And I've got 115,000 troops right now. I gotta get rid of all these guys. Where am I gonna send them? So uh, I've already had a, a couple of options here. The, the first one obviously is we go out to the clan store and we find ourselves a wonderful bubble which i already have a few of but i'm i've only got 14.3 thousand points at this moment so let's go find the bubble first thing to secure us should we have not done what we just did i think i missed it I'm going down too far oh no there it is uh the eight hour bubble twenty thousand points Unfortunately, you can't keep using these because you don't build loyalty points as fast as eight hours requires. So under the best of circumstances, you would be using an eight hour bubble on a regular basis to protect yourself. Unfortunately, we don't have that option. So we got to think about our different options to make sure we secure our folks. Uh, the, the first one is to obviously send all of our troops over to a clans member. So I've already had a little bit of a, a conversation and we'll go back through this and uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, let's go back up here. Oh, there we go. Uh, we, we just found it. Uh, Falcone and I had a conversation really quickly of he can hold 112,000 troops and I'm making sure he's not going anywhere and he's not doing anything and uh, not planning. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to send some troops his way. So. I need to, get, to send my troops out of town. Let's double check. Nobody's attacking me again. All right. I know he's attacking me again. So let's go send my troops out of town uh, to, to make sure that he has it. So let's go take a quick gander over here. Oops. Membership. We gotta go find him. Falcoon. There he is. Let's find Falcoon. All right, Falcoon's gonna host my troops for the evening. I'm gonna go to bed, and tomorrow morning I'm gonna pull my troops out of his location. So let's take a quick look at what he's doing. He's been, okay, there we go. So Falcoon, sorry. Uh, crud, I'm getting lost in my own tutorial at this member or this moment I, I hit the wrong button Falcoon. there we go action that's what I wanted okay we're gonna send some resources oh sorry we're gonna send some reinforcements and I'm not gonna send my hero I want to keep my hero at home there there's no harm in keeping my hero at home that that doesn't hurt me in any way as you can see I've got a lot of level one or tier one uh, reinforcements he can hold a hundred 12,000, I can only send 81,000. So I'm gonna think about this a little bit. I want my farming units to possibly be units I can pull back pretty quickly. And I've got a couple here that I probably should have gotten rid of a long time ago. And I can send 40,000 of my, if you remember, I had something like 119,000. So he can only 100, hold 112,000. So I'm only gonna get rid of my main farming units which are generally my tier ones, which are horsemen, archers, archeresses, and slayers, as well as raiders, because raiders farm at the same speed as archeresses. So that's kind of my farming contingent. So I'm gonna I'm gonna select them and I'm gonna send them over to him. I don't want to send my hero with this particular contingent, and Falcoon is very very close, so that happens really quickly. All right, uh, I need to get the rest of my troops out of town. And I know that Odysseus, as well as Hades, are shielded. So let's take a look at them. I know they're way down in the list, so let's, get, let's go find them. Here they are, Master Hades and Odysseus. Hades has the bigger contingent, so I'm going to go secure them. Go 
not send my hero again. Let's, let's make sure we don't send our hero someplace stupid. Because we want them for doing invader hitting and, and uh, well, in general, invader hitting, as well as we, we want to be able to change up their, their equipment, as I've shown you in previous videos. Let's see how far I can get down the list before I run out of marches. I, and I've got four marches at this point, but these are some of the weird-ass stuff that came through with some purchases. Still below the 81,000, so I got them all. All right, I got all of my troops, and I've sent them off. No, I don't want my hero going with you guys. Sorry. Uh, they're shielded, and they're protected, so why would I send my hero with you guys? All right. So now, theoretically, I have emptied everything, although you can see how fast it's rebuilding. Dear Lord, I'm already at 119K stone. Uh, I've got to empty that again before I actually go to bed. Uh, but that was the point of this tutorial is to show you a, a couple of the, the very quick ways. There's going to be a second uh, portion to this uh, particular uh, tutorial set of how to hide your troops. There, there's additional ways um, and they take a little bit more thought process and a little, little extra work. And I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, so we will do that in the next session. All right. Thank you, everybody, for listening to me, and we will talk again later. Bye.